five reasons not to divorce your spouse who cheated. Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And today I wanted to talk about five reasons not to divorce your spouse who cheated. Now, I know this can be very difficult and it's a difficult situation and I empathize with you. It's also a very controversial topic, but I am here to tell you that there is hope in your relationship. Even if you feel as if the situation is hopeless and you know things are falling apart around you, it is very possible to get things back on track, but it is going to take time and it is going to take your commitment. This is not something that will be solved overnight. This is not something that will be solved within a week. This is a long haul process. This is more of a marathon than it is a sprint. But if you are committed and if you are willing to work through the affair, I promise you that your relationship could potentially end up being stronger than it was originally. So let's go through the five reasons to not divorce your spouse after cheating. Number one, people make mistakes. We are all human. We all make mistakes in life. And yes, this was a big, big mistake. I'm not taking that away from your situation. And I understand that that mistake caused you a lot of pain, but we are all human. And to be honest with you, that mistake could actually be a blessing in disguise because if there were issues in your relationship before and if your relationship had taken a back seat just due to the routines of life and the monotony of life, then this is an opportunity to refocus back to your relationship. And also, if this is out of character for your partner, if this is something that has never happened before, then your partner obviously knows this and understands this and is probably feeling incredibly remorseful for what they did. So please just remember and keep in mind that we all make mistakes. Number two, common life projects. When you get into your marriage and when you get into a relationship, you start to build a life together. So you start doing projects together, you set goals together, and you start working towards these projects and towards these goals. And over a period of time and over the process of your relationship, you reach milestones, you achieve things together. Yes, your partner made a mistake. Yes, this infidelity and this affair has put a pause on your relationship, but I urge you to take a step back and to think about all the things that you guys built together, the foundation that you guys built together in this relationship and the things that you can continue to build if you are able to move past the emotions and the hurt and the pain of the affair. Number three, love is forgiveness. Now, again, I know this is a very hurtful situation and I know this is something that you probably were not anticipating but to love someone is to forgive someone and I know culturally most people think or have this notion that forgiveness is a weakness but forgiveness is not a weakness forgiveness is actually a strength it's an indication of your vulnerability and your authenticity and your ability to look at somebody and see them as a person that they are and forgive them. And in this situation, forgiveness is very important. Number four, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Now, I know you've probably heard this phrase before. We've heard it a million times before and it's been around for a while and it may seem cliche, but the reality of the situation is a lot of the times you can get into a mindset or you can view your situation as being so bad that you would rather just get out of it and, you know, go beyond this and maybe things will be better on the other side, but that is not necessarily always the case. Take into consideration that if you end this relationship and you get into another relationship, that is also time and effort spent and rebuilding or in building that new 
relationship and building a new foundation. And, you know, I'm not here to tell you that things will not happen. There will not be mistakes that happen. There aren't negative situations that will happen within that relationship as well. But you have to take a step back and really think about your current situation, what your short-term goals are, what your long-term goals are. And if you feel like this relationship is salvageable, if you are still in love with your partner, if you are able to forgive your partner, then my suggestion to you is, is to stay in this relationship because like I said, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Number five, authentic remorse. In a lot of these situations, a lot of the time, people say, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry is kind of one of those words that has a tendency of being used very loosely in a relationship. But in this case, if your partner is authentically remorseful for the mistake that they made, and like I said before, if this is something that is completely out of character for your partner, then it is something to take into consideration your partner's remorse will drive them to refocus, to recommit, to acknowledge their mistakes and take accountability for their mistakes. If these are all the things that your par partner is doing and taking the actions to show you that they are remorseful, then you know the apology is authentic. If that is the case, then I urge you to stay in the relationship and continue to fight for the relationship because your partner is showing you that they are dedicated to you and they are wanting to make this work. So just to review, here are the five reasons. People make mistakes, common life projects, love is forgiveness, the grass is not always greener on the other side, authentic remorse. If you connected with this video, if you can relate with this subject or this topic, please make sure you like or subscribe below. If you had a similar situation happen to you, or if you have questions that you want to ask, please make sure you put those in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys and I would love to hear from uh, of your own individual experiences. If you want a little bit more clarity or you want to go a little bit deeper into the subject, please make sure you visit us on happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs covering this topic and several other topics as well. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with myself or any other of the amazing coaches. Again, my name is Danny. I am your life and relationship coach. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy. And I hope to see you guys soon.